pay, show a video and talk about uh, his, his kicks, his punches, that sort of thing. So he has this knife, and he uses it in most of his normal attacks. And you can see even there with his uppercut. I would say one thing that really stands out is his mid-attack. I think they're pretty good. They're pretty quick. It's, he's a close-quarter character because, you know, it's not like a sword or a machete or whatever, but I think the speed makes up for it. And this one's fun because he literally uses a rock to step up the ground, which amuses me greatly. And then lastly, he has this drop kick, which is an overhead. It's pretty quick, and if he does two in a row, he gets a crushing blow. Then he has this throw. And it has a crushing blow with a really unique uh, condition. It's loaded if he has not been hit or jumped in 10 seconds. So, yeah, and there you go. And yes, you get to combo off that stun when they hold their breath. So it's not the traditional recoil. So first up, he uses his bow. It's a really fast, high projectile. And the cool thing is it's almost like a stance. He can fire multiple, up to three. He can let it go. He can just hang on it wait a second, then shoot one. And none of that costs stamina, either defensive or offensive. Then he has this tripwire, which I think is like the crux of his space control. It's really fast. He has a close and far version. And it it's a low. It pretty much forces the opponent to either walk in slowly, attempt to jump. Dashing is really risky. Basically, if they're moving, they're going to get hit. They're going to get knocked down, and then that sets up. He can either go into arrows, he can just, he could advance, or he can do it again. And it's kind of a move that makes you just sit still and look out for it. It's, it's the main move that ties everything else together. It also is a pretty good combo ender. Then he has a slide. And this slide has a couple options. He can do it from really far by holding forward. He can actually roll backwards by holding back after, even on block to make it hard to punish. It is an ancient fight that does more damage with a crushing blow if he does it three times. Very similar to how Sub Zero means to fight slide work. So I think this move's pretty good for advancing if you want to go under something. It's decent for 50 50. It's like you could use that with his drop kick as an overhead low mix up. So, as we know, as Troutman explains, he's trained to eat stuff that make a billy goat puke. And in the game, we show that by an insect crawls by and he actually eats it and it falls back. And if his fatal blow is on cooldown, it's a crushing blow of the bug, which gives him hella energy back. The downside to this is, is if he eats too many, he then vomits and he's stunned. So the first thing is he gets his tripwire. And this is different than the other one. It sets up a combo if he amplifies it. There's no close or far, it just it knows where the opponent is. Pretty quick. And this is one of the main ways to get big combos with Rambo if you choose to use this. The second thing is the crawl, which I absolutely love. This is essentially a low stance. He has numerous moves from it. He has this quick slide. Then he has a grab. This is actually like a, a grab. If they're blocking, it'll hit them. And then he has a parry. And the parries meet because it parries lows, mids, and highs. So if he's down enough, the opponent tries to hit him out of it, he can actually parry it. And then the parry and the throw have a crushing blow. If he crawls long enough, he'll be loaded. And if he grabs you, he smashes your face then. So variation two, he can pull an M60 that he hid in the leaves out of the ground. And this is a very fast projectile. It's like a stream of bullets. And he also gets the Claymore Mine. And what's fun about this is once it's triggered, it can blow up either, opponent, or either person, be it him or the opponent. He can put it down and it lasts for quite a long time. And if he amplifies it, he puts leaves over it so it's invisible. So there's fun stuff you can do. You can put it down, let it sit there for a while, do your little setups, and then just when they forget about it, they get popped out. And then lastly, his uh, tripwire is replaced by this log trap. And it's pretty much the opposite of it. Instead of covering the ground, it covers the air. It'll still hit when it was standing, but it's also awesome for anti-air. I love these animations. So this one is like a grab version. He gets a couple of his strings, get grab-enders, 
And they are actual grabs, like if you're blocking you get hit. And then this one is a hit, but it is like a restand. So you can end your combo with it, and you'll be standing and he gets advantage. It also just looks really, really nasty. Then he gets a command grab. The cool thing is when he amplifies it, you can choose which way to throw you. And it has a crushing blow for punishing a wake-up roll. So let's see, you try to get up, you don't want to deal with the setups, you roll, and oop, you get disemboweled. Which is really harsh for trying to roll out of the way. Setting something up here for the next one. Yeah, unfortunately forgot what I was setting up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the combat roll. So this replaces the slide. And it's almost sort of like Reptile's Elbow from Ultimate MK3. Uh, he goes past you, and then he has a couple of different options. He can do this quick slice, he can do a really fast overhead if he amplifies it, or he can just cancel it. And it's really, really quick, and can be kind of hard to deal with. for nothing or die for something. Yeah. 